guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, and today we are reviewing the Ferrum Forge Gent Select. So what makes the Ferrum Forge Gent a select versus anything else is you got the titanium frames and the carbon fiber scales. That's really about all that makes it the Gent Select. Now, as a Ferrum Forge design, it does have your typical choke up position. And as your typical Ferrum Forge design, I love it. I the the a, not the action, but well the action's pretty good too, but I obviously the blade is not centered. And maybe what we can do is show you guys how to center this after this, but the the choke up position on any Ferrum Forge design is just amazing. Oh my gosh, is it amazing. This thing is it's 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 like an elementum, which I don't. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold that thought. Relax, just relax for one second. Give me a second here, huh? Can you can you guys do that for me? Ow! Oh, now it's in the truck. Reminds me a lot of the firm or of the Savivi elementum in a way. Yeah. All right. Is this T six? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to fix this action really quick before I really get into the video. So uh, the pivot, I'm guessing, and I don't know, but I'm guessing is underneath these scales for whatever freaking reason. It's cool. It hides the pivot. It makes it a classier look. But at the same time, to adjust my pivot, I have to take off my scales. Pivot. These screws for the scales are a T6. You kidding me? Did I take a... Oh. Oh, this has just become a freaking affair. Took off the wrong friggin' scales. Who the hell does that? Guess I should have guessed because I took off the show side, but I didn't want to take off the freaking pocket clip. Thanks a lot. Thank you a lot for this. Making me do this on the video. You guys are bored now, and I'm just sitting here trying to entertain myself. If I can slide her over. Alright, so, for those of you who just joined us, acting like this is a live show, those of you that just joined us, I am going to attempt to fix the pivot. Yep, yeah, I gotta take the whole thing off. I can't be lazy about it. Well, this is gonna be a whole freaking affair. I might even chop this out and just show you guys the fixed pivot at the end. Should have done that ahead of time. And it's a Phillips. What the? F what is going on? That's the pivot. What? What is happening? What is this? Freaking! Then I gotta get a different tool. I can tell you right now, I started off liking you, but now you're just being a pain in the ass. That's my tortoise, by the way. He's like hocking up a loogie or something in the background. Pooba. The one Phillips head I freaking got is too damn big. I'm gonna quit. I give up, guys. I'm tapping out. There we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. I'm glad I did that. I should throw some, that's what I'll do. I'll throw some freaking Loctite on it while we're here. Hope you guys don't mind me taking the time. This is not a video where I'm showing you guys how to take this apart, but I might as well now, right? That was nowhere near my intentions. Hey, get back here. I was just trying to tighten up the pivot for the friggin' review. What the hell? You guys are probably going to see like a start and finish. You guys aren't going to see all this crap. Alright. So let's do that. Loosen it up and then we tighten it back down again. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, if you wanted to take off the scales, this is your knife. Okay. Why the hell would you do a pivot? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tori. I don't know why you would do a pivot that's Phillips. Like, I gotta look into that. I, I didn't expect that at all, and then the only Phillips freaking bit I got on this Kershaw thing is too big. I don't know why I'm whining so much. Just shut up. Alright. Let's get these scales back in place here. I'm gonna try to... Maybe we'll speed up some of this. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Pivot. Don't do what I just did and not put good pressure on there because you will strip that screw out. While I'm putting this away, interesting fact about Torx, <laughs> since we're putting in some Torx screws. So I was looking up really what the benefit and downside to Torx screws are, right? Well, Torx screws were originally invented by a Torx company, I believe. I believe the name of the company is Torx. Or it might have even been a guy that's like, I think the guy's name began with like a Tor or something and he came up with Torx. But the idea of the Torx head screw is that it doesn't strip out as much. Like the head doesn't strip as bad. As I strip this head putting it in. The head's not supposed to strip nearly as bad as say Okay. The head's not supposed to strip out nearly as bad as say a hex screw, which might blow your mind a little bit cuz I mean, we all know hex screws that get rounded out and stuff, and you're kind of like, what the hell? But that's why they were invented. But the shitty part about Torx, in case you guys were wondering what the shitty part of this Torx head review is, is that Torx screws are proprietary to Torx themselves. So in order to get a Torx screw bit, the reason they cost more than other bits... And I don't know if this is still the case, but they're proprietary, whereas Hex is like a universal freaking thing, right? No, not Torx. I mean, I'm sure they make knockoff brands and stuff. I don't know how you'd protect that patent forever, but... Like, the hell? And T6 Torx are, like, not a thing. Like, if you go buy anything else, it's not T6. They, like, have... Starting out with, like, T10 and stuff. Okay. Now with that shenanigans over, on to the review. Ten minutes into the freaking video. That action, though, wow. After I've tightened that up, this thing is so snappy. The detent is strong but nice. Just whoop. All right, so as far and forge, you got the typical forward finger choil, and this is super comfortable in hand. This blade is nice and slicey. It comes down with a... I'm going to... Put in what type of grind this is. I believe this is a flat grind. Uh, it looks like a flat grind. With a nice tumble finish blade and S35 steel for 120 bucks. So that's pretty cool. The action on this small, small knife is... Look at this. It's not drop shutty, but for being so light, it's so smooth. You got this kind of dumb looking deep carry pocket clip. But the cool part about the pocket clip is... It's like, you don't know what that is, but I also feel like if I catch that on something, I'm going to break the living crap out of it. And as with the Gent, as I said, these are titanium liners. Let's get into some specs 10 minutes in. So the length of this knife overall is coming in just short of 7 inches. The blade length is 3 inches, and the cutting edge is about 2 and a quarter. The overall weight of this guy is coming in at 2.44 ounces. Super, super lightweight. You know, to put that into perspective, I believe, and I don't have it readily available, but I believe the Para 3 lightweight is coming in at one or 2.4 as well. So this thing's super, super lightweight. Let's check out the blade stock thickness. The blade, come on down, blade stock thickness. About 125 thousandths on the blade stock thickness. The behind the edge thickness of this guy is coming in ooh, hold on. right at about 20 thousandths. Let's check up by the tip, just the tip. Nothing more than the tip. Wow, 
15, how is it last by the tip? The tip's coming in at 15,000. So did I make this first measurement wrong? Yeah, it's in between 15 and 20,000. So it's a stupid slicey little guy. Let's check the overall width. The overall width is coming in at 0.45. As you, as you hear me say all the time, I think my average width of a knife is coming in at just about 0.5. So this is a little bit below average to my standards. And not in a bad way. It's just below average of the overall height. So the overall height in your pocket is coming in at 0.98 inches, which is super thin. If you want to measure the, the flipper tab here, the flipper tab is coming in at 1.15 inches. I don't want to twist it anymore because I'm going to screw it up. 1.15 inches. So it's it, the, the profile of this guy is phenomenal. It's a phenomenally small, discreet, classy, titanium, carbon fiber. You know, it, it's super snappy, super ergonomic. And the Blade Steel S35VN is fantastic. For $125, bucks, in my opinion, this was a steal. The problem is you can't get them anymore. I can't find these anywhere. I don't even know if they make this knife anymore. The Ferrum Forge Gent Select is... You can find them on the secondary market. I may be selling this one in the near future. Um, but for 120 20 bucks, not a bad deal. I believe the Ferrum Forge Gent itself was going for $100. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good deal. Now I jumped into the overview, and I didn't even give you guys any size comparisons. So... Here's a couple size comparisons. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit smaller knives because this is not a large knife. So here is the Civivi Odium and the uh, CJRB Mini Feldspar. As you can see, it's the same. It's everything about the Mini Feldspar and the Ferrum Forge Gent Select are almost the exact same. It's just like the Ferrum Forge Gent Select is just a little bit classier looking. The tumble finish over. CJRB's tumbled finish looks a little bit better. It's a little bit darker. Can that? Yeah, it's just a dark tumble finish, and it, it's, it's just a classier look. And you can tell this thing costs more than that. So yeah, take that for what you will. I don't know if, where I was going with that. So that's your classically small knives. Here's one knife that's not necessarily small, but smaller. Yeah, it's about almost the same size too. It's almost the same size as your pair of three. And your Rat Model 2. Your Rat Model 2 is a little bit longer. And that kind of just gives you an overall view of how large this knife actually is. It's not. How large it is not, really. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ferrum Forge Gent Select. This knife is, for 120 bucks. if you want a small, classy knife, that the ergonomics are pretty solid. You know... I didn't really go over much when it comes to the knife itself. I got so hung up on tearing it apart. You know, the fit and finish is awesome. The carbon fiber, I don't feel any gaps. I don't see any gaps in there. It, it, it's, it's a very good fit and finish. And once I tighten up that pivot, pivot, look at that. Blade's perfectly centered. The action's great. No side to side, no to up and down. Ergonomics in hand feel pretty good. I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not necessarily a hot spot because I honestly it's so small I can't squeeze down hard enough to make it a hot spot. If I'm not choked up, you get a three finger grip. You can almost get your fourth finger on there. I got skinny fingers though, FYI. Large hands, skinny fingers. And I can definitely feel the pocket clip when I'm not choked up. When you're choked up, your pressure's off of the pocket clip. Aesthetics, let's give it an A because it's a pretty damn good looking knife. Ergonomics, you're also going to get an A. That choked up position is pretty darn good, but the back spot isn't. So man, maybe drop it down to an A minus. The Blade Steel S35 VN, fantastic. I love S35. It's probably one of my favorites for the average price range, right? And not average price range, but like for something that you can get without paying crazy amounts of money, but you could still pay pay crazy amounts of money for. Fidget Factor, this thing's actually pretty damn smooth and super snappy, so it's really Kind of nice to play with. That's what she said. Inappropriate. The pocket clip is ambidextrous, and it is deep carry, even though you are probably got to be really careful with that guy because look how thin that freaking pocket clip is. Put that into perspective. Check that out. That is a four-wheeler that I am going to choke out. This dude drives up and down our street, left and right. I swear I'm going to choke him out. 
calm down. There's no jimping, nothing like that. Anyways, not much broadcasting. It's a mass drop. It's a mass drop fair and forged design. So, and you got a little bit of a serial number there, CF274. That's probably the serial number that this came out with. This thing's all over the place. I apologize for this. I did not expect to have to tear this guy apart or anything like that, so I kind of discombobulated myself. But this is the Ferrum Forge Gent Select, not the Ferrum Forge Gent. The Ferrum Forge Gent, uh, 20 bucks cheaper. You, you get stainless steel liners, and it might be G10, I think. But everything else is the same. You still get the same blade steel. You're really paying for the carbon fiber and the titanium liners. And there is no milling on the titanium liners, FYI. Sorry, this one was all over the place. My name is Tyler. This has been Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp. Stay safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. And just thank you guys again for watching. Honestly, it means a lot. You guys have a great freaking day.